According to the refugee agency UNHCR, today more than 65 million people find themselves obliged to leave their roots and start a new life away from their home, separated from their relatives. While some European countries are currently building fences on their borders, there are some non-profit organisations helping them to improve their vital circumstances. We can find some examples of that in Wilhelmsburg, one of the most multicultural districts of Hamburg. The aim of this project is to study the steps refugees or asylum seekers had to pass through and which organisations can help them to do that. In 2015 alone, more than 1.1 million asylum seekers and refugees came to Germany, according to sources from BBC News. This country receives the highest number in the European Union by far. 35,000 refugees came to Hamburg in search of peace. Some of them had spent their winter living in tents in the surroundings of the city, a few without even heating. In order to accommodate them, aid camps were built in Wilhelmsburg. Today, more than 3,000 refugees live in this district. There are some people that volunteer daily to bring refugees together. Marke Gruwald coordinates projects in Albinsen to help refugees find a new home with ease. My motivation is helping people who arrive in Willensburg and make them feel comfortable and also make other people understand that refugees are just like everyone else. The hardest moments are always when a refugee is forced to leave Germany because somehow it doesn't work for them here. That is a very hard situation for me and that makes me feel uncomfortable. My best moments are when someone new arrives here and they make new friends. Their life somehow develops and they have an opportunity to integrate in the society. For example, having meals together and then helping me. I have some refugees who help me here. It's always a nice moment. But there's another side of the story. Lots of refugees living in Williamsburg today escaped from Syria. According to Amnesty International sources, half of Syria's population is currently displaced. This is the case of Reem Haskor and her family. Reem takes German classes alongside other refugees. I should be afraid because it's the uh, first time I am here. I, I didn't know how is people how because it's, some people like the refugee and another people don't like refugee. And you should to be careful about this. The German people make all what the, the refugee need for the like they help for the school, they help for the clothes, they help for the translator for to in the government for job center or the, for to look for a flat. They help so much. The Insel Hift is a non-profit organization which helps refugees accommodate in Germany, protecting their rights. Daniel has been working there. If you give the refugees the opportunity to be a part of the community, then we will get over this problem. Insel Hilf is mostly financed by single donations. All the refugee organizations founded a cooperation together to communicate with the government more easily. Now we have one voice and it's so much easier to communicate with the government. Al-Basi Abusev from Syria also attends the German classes and wanted to voice his thoughts and opinions. I've been going to German lessons for four months now. We are guests here and I should do my best for a land that opens its gates for me. We are grateful to Germany for this time. I hope that one day I can return to my homeland and we can give something back now to all the people who helped us. With half the refugee population being children, we wish for more of them to be provided with this help by not only these organizations, but also the government for a brighter future. We want to live in peace and also I, uh, I, I hope to Good the future for my son because when I am came to here I came for my son. We have realized there are many challenges people can face throughout life. 
which we should recognize. As people, we are all equal. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you believe in. We are one and that's the value we are all taking home with us. For this, we are appreciative of IJGD and Tito TV for giving us the opportunity to learn and enjoy at the same time.